An Etobicoke couple is speaking out after learning the hard way that not all GO train stations are wheelchair accessible. 53 year old Sheila, who relies on a wheelchair and a cane to get around, tells me she had a humiliating experience here at Mimico Station and she's now calling on Metrolinx to take action before it happens to someone else. You know, I'm no different than anybody else. I should be able to go through the front door. What was supposed to be an easy train ride to the ball game turned out to be an embarrassing ordeal for Sheila Carpus. The 53 year old has partial mobility due to pain that has intensified so much she now relies mainly on her wheelchair. It was last Saturday when Sheila and her husband arrived at Mimico assuming it would be accessible. Sheila tells me it was a slow, painful process just to get up to the platform. She had to use her cane to get all the way down this flight of stairs, and then she had to make her way all the way up here while her husband carried her wheelchair because there are no elevators. So when the train arrived, just take me through what happened then. There was a step about this high, so we couldn't get the chair up, so I had to get out of the chair again and make my way onto the train. Um, the assistant fellow was, was very nice. He was trying his best to help, but he didn't really have the means, you know, like a proper ramp to be able to do it or anything. So you felt just simply trying to get on the train had become a big commotion. It was huge. And all eyes were on you. I was in tears. Of GO Transit 66 stations, five are still not wheelchair accessible, including a second one right here on the busy Lakeshore West Line, Long Branch, which is just past Mimico. I see all the work being done on all the new GO stations, the new bus stations and that, and I think it's wonderful, but I think they need to deal with the situations that they still have before they move on to greater things. Metrolinx tells me the five remaining stations, Mimico, Long Branch, Eglinton, Kipling and Georgetown, are set to be wheelchair accessible before the provincial deadline of 2025, but it could take at least three more years. We are in this huge build. Um, you know, we're looking at expanding GO, and with that comes a lot of infrastructure, a lot of different, um, actually, in fact, every single station across the network will need to be upgraded and changed in some way. Is there anything in the meantime that can happen? I mean, there, there's not even a ramp to get onto the train here. Unfortunately, there's some major infrastructure that would have to change, and that takes time. You really find out when you're down here rolling. Like, it's amazing the things that I see, and it's like, come on, people. You know, you know, we're a progressive city. There's no reason for this kind of thing. Now, Sheila reached out to City News to bring attention to this issue. If there's something you think should be shared or investigated, here's how you can reach us. Shauna Hunt, City News.